call me Jack Daddy. I like to build things. Uh, I figured I'd make some videos to show you guys how I build them. That's my rooster voodoo. Maybe you can learn some things. Maybe you can uh, enjoy watching this stuff. Maybe you can build your own stuff. All right, today we're gonna to show you how to make a DIY Ozonics. So you can build your own Ozonics for, I don't know, like maybe a hundred bucks or so. And I'll just show you what all we got today. We got some, some wire strippers. Uh, this is a little on off button right there. Uh, it's kind of weatherized or uh, waterproof, whatever. Here's a fan, fan guard, heat gun, soldering iron, solder. Uh, those little things right there, they work pretty good. You just, uh, you put wire in each side. I'll show you how to do it in a minute. Uh, there's the O2, or the, uh, the ozone producer. There's your transformer you gotta have. Uh, there's the, my LiPo battery. I got a LiPo charger over there. Um, I already cut that in. It came with that in. I already cut that off. Uh, so you'll need to keep this end on for charging. And then this will be your power and then uh, some quick connects or a quick disconnects right there. That's gonna allow you to be able to take that battery out and be able to charge it when you need to charge it. So, uh, yeah. All right, so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these quick connects and then we're gonna wire it to the battery and then that way your battery pack will be done. Everything else will be wiring from uh, just the rest of the unit, I guess. But uh, we're gonna use these uh, right here Put them on there, and we're gonna put the red to the red and the white to the black. Is it good? Yeah. Okay. So I like to just push them together like that, and then you kind of just push them the best you can, and then you'll slide this back over all of that till you get the solder right in the middle. All right, and then once you get it like that, I'll take a heat gun. Put it on low. Basically what we're at now. So we got this done right here. So you got those on there. This is your other lead right here, quick connect, quick disconnect. So this right here is just a, a battery that's gonna be able to take out all together and charge it. So what you wanna do now is take the other side of that. So this right here, which is gonna plug into this, boom, right there. You wanna take this and you wanna plug in, uh, or we wanna solder everything else together. So we're gonna hook, uh, this right here will be your negative, this will be your positive. So we're gonna hook all of the negatives to this right here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one side of the positive, or one side of the, we're gonna take the positive and one side of this switch and do them. And then we're gonna hook all the other positives to the other side of this switch. That way when we cut this switch on, everything's gonna turn on at the same time. Uh, so you're just gonna cut this switch on, your ozone's gonna start producing, your fan's gonna start turning and you're gonna be scent free. No deer's gonna smell you and you're gonna shoot a giant. So uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna work on that right now. Uh, we're gonna start, so all the negatives to this, all of them, and then all the positives to the switch on this side and then the switch on this side to the positive hooking to your battery, your power source. Let's get it. All right, so first of all, the fan is gonna have, most likely it's gonna have like three wires that come with it. And uh, you don't need all three, obviously, you just need two. So uh, you're gonna use these these two that come, uh, they were already hooked up to this right here. So you just cut them off. Those are gonna be uh, your two wires that you're gonna need. So you'll find out which ones those are, which ones are your uh, positive, negative, whatever, and then you're gonna clip them back here. And you can clip that third, you can pull it all the way down, clip it at the base, you won't need it. Uh, but these other two are the ones you're gonna need. So for this one, the outside, is gonna hook up to my 
black and then the inside is going to hook up to my red. So I'm going to cut those off and uh, strip them. Everything hooked up to our quick connect. We got our battery hooked up to our quick connect. So what we can do is put our hook these together. Everything will be powered. So we've got the fan and the transformer negative to the negative. We got the red positive to one lead on the switch. On the other side of the switch, we got the fan positive and the transformer positive. So when we match the switch, we're completing that circuit. Now, the last thing we've got to do is we've got to take this transformer, each one of these, and we've got to hook them to this. This is our ozone producer. So it's kind of tricky. This is, you're gonna have to solder it. So uh, we'll solder it to each side of these right here, these little leads that have sticking out. We'll solder one of these to this side, one of these to this side. And then once we do that, all of our electrical connections will be done. It'll just be simply fitting this inside the box that we've got to make. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our soldering iron and some solder and we're gonna solder this and this onto these leads right here. Now everything is hooked up and uh, the next step will be to uh, put it in the box. All right, here's the box. So this is a uh, six by six uh, PVC box for like a junction box. Get it from Home Depot, Lowe's and the tool or in the electrical section. And then uh, what I did was these right here are just some knobs maybe like one quarter but you know 20 thread pitch and uh i just threaded them into that top section so uh basically you know you got that's your top you're just using two of the bolt holes and then that's the inside right there so i've got the hole drilled for the uh fan holes for those that's the hole right there for the uh, switch and then of course that's where everything all the ozone that will kill the scent will come out and then we'll show you how to lay it out in this uh, box here in just a minute we're gonna install the fan first and the fan guard and uh, and then we're just gonna start laying things in there all right I got some of these gorilla uh, glue mountain squares kind of like 3m squares basically you just uh, take them apart you know stick them on there just clear uh, so that's how we're gonna mount some of the stuff in there uh, this piece right here is just a piece of uh, like acrylic, you know, just a small piece and I cut it and then measured it on the inside and then um, bent it on each side so I have something to put those squares to. Basically that's going to go in there like this and that's going to separate our battery box and the transformer and all those types of stuff from the fan and the ozone unit. So we're gonna put that in there like that with the mountain strips. All right, so this is how we are now. So we've got the waterproof switch in right there. We got the fan in, we got the ozone generator there. We got the transformer down there, our little divider. Uh, and then, so all we have left to do now is to uh, just kind of secure these wires either with some zip ties or some electrical tape just get them all in there nice and neat where they won't be in the way or flopping around or anything like that and then we'll put our battery in and uh, put our top back on and then uh, after that I'll show you how we're gonna make the mount uh, that'll hook into the tree all right now we got all our wires taped together uh, the battery is in connections everything is there uh, so you know we just mash our button here and there you have it Making ozone smells like a thunderstorm. All right, so we moved outside, got a box, and what we want to do is, I got a piece of aluminum, but you could use, you know, a piece of wood. You could use whatever, uh, just anything strong enough to bolt this box to, and then leave a space on this back side where you'll be able to drill a hole. And that can be your mountain thing. So, uh, I mean, there's multiple ways to do it. This is just how I'm doing it. So I've traced out the bottom of this uh, on my aluminum. 
and then this is what I'm fixing to cut out right here, this piece. And then I'm, my box will bolt to here, to here, to here, and to here. And then I'll drill a hole back here, and that's going to be where it'll hold it in the tree. And I'll have a swivel mount that I'll show you in a minute uh, that I just got from Walmart. And uh, that will be what will be, able, you'll be able to move it side to side however you need to move it for the wind direction. Uh, so I'm just going to cut this with a plasma cutter, but you could cut it with any kind of tool that you might have handy. So I'll cut this, be right back. This is what the trail camera mount looks like. So this is what we'll use to mount the thing to the tree. Uh, you know, any trail camera holder will probably work, but this one's pretty beefy. And uh, the beefier, the better. These things aren't just super lightweight. Uh, so, you know, get, try to find one that's pretty nice and stout. All right, so here we have my mount. I just cut it out with a plasma cutter and kind of uh, used a little sanding disc around the edges to, uh, to not make it nice and smooth, no jagged edges. And uh, what we'll do is we'll take this and put it on top of it and find our, our hole locations right there, mark them with a pencil and uh, drill them out. And then we'll paint it and mount it to this. And then we'll drill our last hole right there except this is backwards like this drill our last hole right there and that's where our trail camera mount will hold it boom right there back here's the little mount screwed into the tree so there was nothing to that we got everything finished look over here at the unit itself this is the finished unit everything inside of there uh it is uh, bolted to the frame that I made, the little mount I guess that I made. So that's what it looks like from the bottom. Alright, so there's our finished Ozonics. DIY Ozonics. You guys can make this yourself. It's really not that hard. I've shown you everything you need to know about how to make one of these. So you can go uh, put this above your head in a tree and get infected by the harmful ozone but also kill giants. So. I uh, hope that works for you. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, maybe you should subscribe and see what I what I build next.